Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today for the always pleasant task of welcoming a new business to town. And in this case, I'm really excited about what's going on here at 97 Main Street in the office building with uh, Pliables in front and now Healthy Body, Healthy Mind in back. And this is a service uh, Carol and I met a long time, not a long time ago, a couple of months ago we met. You guys were at our, our um, awareness, where's Gabs? They were at our awareness thing at uh, Town Hall. Well, you're already starting to make yourself uh, heard in the community, which is terrific. This is Alex and Iris Torres. They are the owners of this business, and I would not do its service if I started to try to explain what's going on here. So <laughs> I'm going to turn over the microphone to you. Take your time. Tell us everything you're doing, and, and then I'll ask everybody else to fill in why it's so important for the community of Woodbridge to have you here. But you tell me all about this business. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Thank you, number one, for having us. Thank you for being here, Mr. Mayor and his team, Caroline. Um, number one, I want to thank God, right, because this is an opportunity he has granted, me has granted our family to be here in town and to provide this service. Um, I want to thank my wife, I want to thank my sister, I want to thank my family. Um, it, it's just without, and the team, without that, we wouldn't be here. Um, so Healthy Body, Healthy Mind started in 2015. We started as a life coaching, fitness coaching program um, with a little twist of educating folks on mental health. We then expanded when we got invited by the Children's System of Care to become a provider for them. And we ended up building a team of counselors, counselors and fitness coaches. And we did, we still do community outreach work. Um, we do parent work. We do education for schools. Um, and we've been looking for a location for years now. And finally, I think we've found the perfect place in our town um, in the middle of, of everything on Main Street, which we're excited about. Uh, and it's just been uh, a, a great journey to be here. So, so what we're going to be doing at Healthy Body, Healthy Minds locations, a number of things. Number one, we're really going to focus on fitness for mental health. And what does that mean? We're going to use this vehicle here to coach our kids, teach them about fitness, and then educate them on how that impacts their mental and physical um, body. So the other piece that we're doing is having our counselors on call, where we get a chance, if we need to, for them to consult with them, um, to, to sort of coach parents through um, whatever it is that they may be going through. Uh, and, and lastly, we really want to be part of the community at large and just really be part of the events, um, starting with mental health, um, working with kids on the spectrum, which is another service we're going to provide. Um, so the way the schedule would look for us here, so Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, we're going to do fitness coaching, fitness for mental health from 4 o'clock to 7.30 and you'll have specific groups at all ages and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, <laughs> ASD so Tuesdays and Thursday will be ASD day meaning for those of you who don't know um, that's children and students on the spectrum Un minuto. Um, I get emotional because about two years ago, we lost a student to um, a reckless, you know, accident. His name was John Vasquez. Uh, so we are really honored to name the program that we're going to be doing on Tuesdays and Thursday, John John's group. Oh. I'm good, Harper. I'm good. <laughs> you got the scissors. I'm good. So, John. John <laughs> so, so, so John John was a big part of 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 our um, just services since the age of 11 all the way to the age of 18. Um, in and out, and and John John was a almost just a, a, a light for us. We learned from him as much as he learned from us, 
So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll be doing functional fitness for kids on the spectrum. Um, so please share the word. We're here to try to figure out how to implement that. I know we're part of the, the POAC walk, the autism walk here in Woodbridge uh, for the last two or three years. Uh, so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, the other thing that I, I don't want to miss is we are on a mission to really destigmatize mental health, right? Mental health is not something to be dismissed, number one. And number two, it's not just for folks who need it, right? Because we all need it. So it's, it's before something happens, after something, something happens. So Healthy Body, Healthy Mind is an all-inclusive program um, where we're really trying to change the view of mental health and I couldn't be at a better place here in Woodbridge Township with the support we have and uh, I'm just proud of the program. What's your, what's your personal background? So my personal background, I, uh, I grew up in, uh, in Essex County, Newark, New Jersey, Brick City. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Uh, grew up in Brick City. Um, from there I became a, a college athlete. Baseball was my dream. Um, but in doing so, I met some beautiful people in the psych uh, industry, the psychology industry, the behavioral industry, and from there, um, that became my focus, behavioral health, fitness health, and, um, and the rest is history. I this also, is your first time venturing out into your own. Well, yeah, uh, we started uh, Healthy Body, Healthy Mind as a community outreach in 2015. I was still at Rutgers University as a supervisor, Rutgers. Um, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and then from there, we started the program while I was working at Rutgers. And uh, in 2016, we ventured out on our own as a community provider. But this is the first time we have our headquarters, our home, our place to go to, to sit down and really just do what we love to do, right? Which is give students a safe place. Um, and if you look at our word, healthy body, healthy mind, and you break the word out, you really will see heal thy body, heal thy mind through fitness or through yeah. mental health, right? Don't shy away from it. I'm here, my family's here. Mental health is something that can change your life for the better, right? And counseling and fitness can help you along the way. You yeah. talk about you know, special needs uh, kids and people on the spectrum. Do you have a relationship yet with the Board of Ed? Uh, we, we, can we help you with that? We would definitely need to help with that. That would be so cool. We, we have ventured out and talked to other Middlesex County schools, um, but this is our home. My kids went to JFK High um, and Robert Masena Camp. You know, I love Robert Masena. It's the middle, <laughs> it's the middle right? Um, so, yeah, we would lef definitely love to do that. We were neighbors with uh, Mr. Massimino. And, oh, okay. um, oh, okay. <laughs> just go knock on his door. <laughs> no, we do need. <laughs> no, he's, he's yeah, he's uh, always been supportive. Yeah, he's a really cool dude, and um, we uh, yeah, we look forward to that. If you know, if we can make that happen, that'd be cool. We're on it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. I'll be uh, Carol and Ehrlich, our chief of staff, who runs redevelopment, and you kind of were at the forefront of this. When first came to you that this mm -hmm. uh, effort, this this company, essentially was coming to Main Street. Uh, we first got Plyballs, which was amazing. It's a great company to have, a great store to have on Main Street. And then we followed it up with this. Tell me what we were thinking back then. Uh, I, I just, I want to start off by saying that you said you found the best place. Well, you are the best business. Uh, if, yeah, we found you. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a wish list, and I have lots of wish lists, but wish lists of things that I want to do for the people in our town, it's always been about health, about health, health with the body, but there's so much that we need for mental health, especially, and I just love that you are focusing on our young people. And we have been, I've been looking all over to set up something where there would be services provided for young people who need mental health. And like you said, everybody does. But this is a kind of environment where 
you can do some exercising and talk things out and you, the, your professionals can listen and hear and it, this is just the best thing. I'm not going to be here to work out because I work out at home, <laughs> but I will be here to support you, you. anytime. You. Call me. I, I'm just, I couldn't be more thrilled, thank and you. I'm sure everybody who lives here is going to be thrilled. Yeah, thank so you. thank you. We are so grateful. Let me ask uh, Gabby Pasternak, who is our, works in our um, addiction services division and is very involved. We are at the forefront. So you know you're in a good spot because Woodbridge Township is at the forefront of mental health issues, in particular with our police department and dealing with people as you know, officers go on calls and they know there's going to be issues. They bring mental health advocates and professionals <laughs> with them. It's called the ARRIVE program. We do that. It's a model for others in the county and the state. Uh, Gabby's at the forefront of that through a health department. What, is, what does this mean to have a place like this here, Gabby? Um, so let me just start by saying congratulations first to you guys um, and this is absolutely amazing and so exciting to have this opening in our community and especially on Main Street right in the center of the town um, and it'll kind of help focus on the preventative care something that we really need to focus on especially with with both addiction and mental health as a whole um, and just to focus on the preventative care and kind of addressing all of the mental health needs and skills that they can learn as kids. So then maybe as once we get older into adulthood, we don't have to kind of suffer with all those illnesses and kind of other issues that we haven't dealt with or learned in our childhood. So this is absolutely going to provide a huge opportunity to connect and bridge that piece and kind of connect our young adults um, to learn what the benefits of both fitness and taking care of yourself are and all of that. Um, so we're absolutely excited to have you guys join our community and to partner with you. Thank you. Thanks. And I don't know if uh, next week, I think, is our health fair, isn't it? Yes. yes. Oh, you're in that, right? Yeah, oh, good, good, good. All right. Very good. Very good. So we also have with us Sharon McAuliffe, who is our first ward councilwoman. Uh, she's going to be your neighbor very yes. soon when yes. she finally <laughs> reopens that bagel store. Not just bagels, but she's close to it. I'm um, also joined by, we're also joined by Marta Levsky, who is our head of planning. Do either of you want to say anything about this wonderful opportunity on Main Street? I really would just like to congratulate you. This is a beautiful facility. The workout room is great. The uh, offices where you can uh, have some time to just talk to a counselor is beautiful. I wish you all the best, and I'm excited that you're going to be here. I think it's going to be great that we're going to partner up with the schools because there are a lot of children right now that could use someone to talk to. With everything going on in the world, it's, it's not an easy place for kids to grow up nowadays. So I think this is going to be a wonderful facility, and I wish you nothing but the best. And if you ever need anything, I'm here for you. Thank you. Now, if you ever need a yeah, fluffy I, bag of cheese on a plain white route, that's the place to go next door. Okay. That's, my, that's my order. I just want to say welcome. You guys were so great to deal with. The place is beautiful. I haven't seen this space look this nice ever. ever. <laughs> so welcome and thank you so much. And it's a great addition to the community. We also have Anthony Vino from our health department. There's a few people here from uh, the, downtown from the uh, business district. We have Phil Claremont and his wife, Michaela. They run Want a Smoothie. It's nice to have other businesses come by and, and show their support. We have Christine from the Greenway Family Success Centers. Want to say anything, Christine? Sure. This is a, this is a great partner because they're different yet similar to what you're doing. And it, it's great that you know, it, know each other. It's great that you're here. This is just terrific. Go ahead. Thanks, Mayor. I want to say congratulations to, I can only imagine the time and thought and effort that's gone into this. And man, I'm so excited for you all and especially for people to know that this is here and to know they can get that support. So people who might be feeling lost. And I love that you're taking care of parents and kids. So that way the whole family can be there together, they can grow, and that they can get everything they need from all sides. So it's really awesome you're doing this. Thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. All right, anybody else you think you want to have speak? Uh, Any of your counselors or anybody else? <laughs> Give it a shot, come on. This is our clinical supervisor. She's oh, all right. I've known her for over 20 years, um, and she's been with us since the start. Yeah. Hi everyone, thank you. Um, it's been great working with Alex and Iris, Jeannie. Um, <laughs> it's like family, so you know, having children and adolescents come in, I'm sure they'll feel the love and you know the support for sure. What's so, your background? I'm a LPC, licensed professional counselor. Oh, right. All right. So I, you know, work with children and adolescents, parents. Yeah. 
Great. Wow. Very good. Anybody else? And then we have Lena, who's... Uh, Lena. We're making all the noise here. So. <laughs> She's got little man, Zach. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm just so proud of you guys. Um, you know, really from the start, you believed in me when I was just a little baby social worker, and I believed in you guys. And so, you know, um, I, I'm just grateful for all the opportunities that have opened up, you know, um, by your connections and by, again, just bringing me on to, to speak for Youth Corps, um, for trusting me with families. So I really appreciate it, and I'm so excited for this space. It's a space where Zach will grow yeah. and, you know, make lots of noise and make friends. <laughs> so <laughs> I just, congratulations. Thank so you so Thank much. you for inviting me to the family.